Christians who call God a liar, Jesus Christ a liar, and the Holy Bible a book of lies. You might hear this title and think, Paul kid, what are you talking about, man? A Christian would never do that. Really? Most Christians don't understand that if one of us who's a true Christian, a true follower of Jesus Christ, who lives the way the Holy Bible says cover to cover, repenting of our sins after we're saved, and focuses on Jesus Christ and teaches and preaches and gets the word out, if we quote scripture and tell someone something who's a Christian that's from the Bible and they say we're lying and they call us a blasphemer, they call us a heretic, they call us a liar, they're not calling us those names. They're calling God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Bible those names. Because what we're saying is from God's word. If you call God's word a lie or a book of lies, you call Jehovah God a liar. If you call Jehovah God a liar, you call the Holy Bible a book of lies. And Jesus Christ is in that mix as well. You know, Christians just don't understand how much they let their tongue overload their brain. They love to just run their mouths. And now, the, you know, the tongue is, is the most dangerous and strongest muscle in the entire body. You know, I can bench press a lot of weight, but my tongue is stronger than my pectoral muscles are because the tongue has power in it. And nowadays, the fingers typing on keyboards have power. Don't you realize that, can't you get this through your heads, Christians? I know most that are gonna watch this video are my regular audience and they already understand the truth and they know they would never call God or the Holy Bible or Jesus liars. But we have friends that do that and we can share this video with them and get the word out to them and warn them. That's our job, it's my job as a watchman to warn. I've been called by Jesus to be a watchman over the flock, to stand on the wall and to sound the alarm. And if I don't sound the alarm and when danger's coming, then your blood is on my hands. But if I warn you, then your blood is on your own head. And I'm warning you, I'm giving you a direct warning. You better not ever, you better get your Bible and read the scripture the way it's written, not the way your gurus or your little G gods or your, you know, your cult leaders teach you the way the Holy Bible is written. It's not, the Holy Bible is never ambiguous. There's no confusion, no interpretation needed. It's plain, straightforward, and simple. God wrote it so simple humans can understand it, not Einstein's. It's not the theory of relativity. It's the Holy Word of God, and it's basic for all human beings with the Holy Spirit dwelling in our heart, Christians, to understand what it says, okay? So if I quote some scripture to you, or I tell you, that something is wrong because the Bible proves that it's wrong, or I tell you something's gonna happen because the Bible says it's gonna happen, and you tell me or another Christian that we're lying, woe, woe, woe unto you, my friend. You got some serious problems, serious problems when you stand before Jesus at the great white throne judgment. You better fall on your knees and repent now and beg the Lord to forgive you for this terrible, terrible thing that you've done. This is serious business. People have lost the true fear of God. I have a great fear of God. I love God. Man, I love God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit more than anything in this world. Anyone or anything. Not even close. Anything they needed, I would do. My life is meaningless. It belongs to them. Whatever they want me to do or do with my life, it belongs to them. I saw what God did in the Holy Bible to those in the old days who were against him. He, he turned them into dust. He destroyed entire civilizations. Christians think today that God is an old man being pushed around in a wheelchair with a hearing aid by the angels. He's got a long gray beard. He's very feeble and with shaking hands. Oh no, oh no, my friends. Jehovah God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's omnipotent, omnipresent. He's the first, the last. He's the, he's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's omnipotent, omnipresent. He's Godhood, the epitome of goodness. Anyone can be good, only God can be Godhood. He's mighty, he's powerful. He's a jealous God, he's an angry God. He's a vicious God. He's a vindictive God. He's a destroyer if he wants to destroy. God is all these things. He's also love, but he's all these other things as well. Do not mess with God. Do not mess with his son, Jesus Christ, and with God's holy word, the Holy Bible. Do not do it, Christians. If you do, like I said, woe, woe, woe unto you. What God did yesterday, he'll do today if he feels like doing it. And if he don't get you today, rest assured, that you won't be standing at the Bema Seat Judgment getting your rewards. You'll be standing at the Great White Throne Judgment getting your eternal reward, being cast into the lake of fire. If you call God those names, it is in his Holy Bible those names and live that way. You better start having a healthy fear of God and who he is 
and stop this nonsense and this madness just because your petty little ideas and thoughts are, are, are called out and you're so angry and you sulk and you say, oh, you're so mean, poor kid. And all you other Christians, you're so mean, you judge me. How dare you judge me? We're not judging you. We're rebuking, correcting, and teaching you. The Holy Bible says that all Christians are supposed to rebuke, correct, and teach those who are erring in the way, who are against the word of God. We lead them from the path, the wide path that leads to hell, back to the narrow road that leads to heaven. We're doing them a huge service and showing huge love to them. So get your scripture straight. We're not judging you. We're rebuking, correcting, and teaching you. So you better just stop. And don't worry about your feelings getting hurt. Worry about your eternity. You know, don't worry about someone who can take your body. Worry about someone who can, who can take your soul. And Satan can take your soul to hell with him if you're not right with Jesus Christ and don't serve him the way the Holy Bible says, cover to cover. So start waking up, Christians. Smell the coffee. Understand what's going on around you. And you better just hold that tongue. You better hold those little keyboard fingers. Just lock them up. Make a fist and, and put it down on the desk and lock them up before you start acting that way because God sees and hears everything you say and do in private. He sees and hears it, and he's going to call you on it openly on Judgment Day if you've got that sin in your lives. So understand, if you're backslidden, Christian, repent of those sins, fall on your knees, ask Jesus to forgive you, because if you don't, you're not going to heaven. I don't care what your once saved, always saved, eternal security gurus and little gods and you know cult leaders, whoever else they are, tell you. I'm telling you what the Holy Bible says. Paul Kidd doesn't have an opinion. My opinion is the King James Version Bible, cover to cover, verse, chapter, book, Genesis to Revelation, all 66 books. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help Christians to hold their tongues and stop being ridiculous and stop being blasphemous and stop being heretical and stop being just terrible when they start calling you, Jesus, and the Holy Bible liars and lies. Uh, they don't understand what their tongue is doing. How dare them do that? And they better stop because I'm going to call them on it. You know that I'm bold, Jesus. You've given me a backbone of Kevlar, bulletproof, and I will say exactly what the Holy Spirit leads me to say. And a lot of times I'm not popular. I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to lead people to the cross, to lead people to Jesus Christ, to keep people in their walk the way that the Holy Bible tells them to do. That's my job as a watchman, to warn, to sound the alarm. And I'm going to do that. And you call the person me to do that because you know that you can trust me to do that because I'm not afraid to tell anybody anything you tell me to tell them. And it's always backed up by the Bible. Please remove the blinders from their eyes, Jesus, the scales from their eyes. Help them to see the truth before it's too late and they wake up one day and find out they're in hell. I ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe you went back to heaven to be at the right hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins. Please wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. Once you've prayed this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. After you're saved, get your King James Version Bible I was talking about. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, if you read this Bible daily, it'll feed your soul and spirit. Pray to Jesus Christ every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk to you daily. Get water baptized. Pray to be sanctified with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. It should grow closer to Christ in what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your Bible to church. If what the preacher preaches doesn't match your Bible, close it, get up and walk out. Find somewhere else to worship at. If you have questions, comments, concerns, if you want me to pray for anything from a sick relative to a sick pet to anything in between, no matter what it is, contact me. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. Didn't earn it, but I prayed for it and God gave it to me. Praise the Lord. And I will pray for you every day, believing that God will answer that prayer. As long as I pray in His holy will, no matter what it is, God performs miracles all the time in my ministries, all through His power, glory, honor, and praise. Never anything to do with me. I'm a slave, the least in His kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge pond. Please share the link to this channel, other videos with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. We have to get the Word of God out the way it was preached the way it's preached in the Bible, the way I preach it here. Not the soft soap, cotton candy, fluff way, but the truth from the Holy Bible, the hardcore way to make them want to repent. And I, I preach that here every video. Not because I'm anything, because God's, God's everything. I love you guys and I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.